Well, uh, so what are we going to do today, uh, Cousin P.W.? The same thing we do every day, Melvin. Try to take over the neighborhood. Hey, y'all. Bloodwing here. Back to bring some grumpiness to your internet. Uh, by now, you've probably noticed that you're looking at a static picture instead of my more recent animations. And like I've said before, when I do a rant, and this will be just me talking today, um, it's just really not uh, an efficient use of time to make um, animations for a 20 or 30 minute straight rant. Uh, the type of... Uh, the program, which is really a game that I'm using to do that, was only meant for little short videos, not longer ones. So, like I said before, this is, whenever I just talk, that's what you'll get, is a static picture. Now, you'll notice it's a different one that I've made for these things. Let me know if you'd like it or want to go back to the old avatar. Uh, but, um, yeah. Like I said, anyway, this is going to be just me talking for a little bit about something that's been on my mind for a while. Before I get into that, I wanted to say welcome to all my new uh, subscribers that's come along in the last week. I've gained quite a few. Welcome to you. Hope you stick around. Um, I, I don't upload as regularly as I used to. A lot of my old time subscribers know that and they know the reasons why. There's some real life issues going on. Hopefully, hope to get back to it. Right now, my goal is to get back to at least once or twice a week uh, and then work from there. But uh, there's been a subject that's been on my mind for a little while. Thought about doing a video on it, just never have. And then today, something in uh, your boy Pat's most recent video uh, brought it back to my mind. I thought, now's as good a time as any to do it. And so we're going to take a look at trolls, pose, and just plain idiots. So the first thing we're going to look at is just a troll. And everybody knows what a troll is. It's somebody that comes into a comment section or a live stream or any other chat on your Twitter or whatever. And their sole purpose is just to upset you. They get some kind of jolly out of it. Now, I've never understood that. And don't get me wrong. I like trolling idiots but I don't understand trolling just for the sake of upsetting somebody, period. You know, I mean, there's even been trolls that have been known to go on uh, funeral uh, or, or pages, you know, that are set up to memorialize somebody that's died and troll the people there. They, I don't get that, don't understand it, never have. I do, however, love to troll the trolls. You know, everybody says, don't feed the trolls. Me, I like to make them look stupid, which is generally not too hard to do as long as you understand what you're dealing with. And what you're dealing with is somebody that just thinks it's funny to try to make you mad. So the first way to deal with a troll is don't let them get your goat. Don't let them get you mad. Don't show them that you're mad. And that really gets them. When they can see that they're not upsetting you, then they're not getting what they set out to do done, and that upsets them. And generally, they'll they'll leave quite quickly. Most often, it's not. But that's a troll. We all know what that is, and they're they're generally pretty uh, pretty obvious to to pick out. You know, it doesn't take more than a post or two before you realize, hey, this person's a troll. They're just trying to upset me. And not trying to make a real point, not trying to really make a good argument. They're just trying to make me mad. So they're pretty easy to point out. The next thing that's not as easy to point out is, is a variation on the troll that I understand even less. And that's called a Poe. 
Now, for those of you that may not know what a Poe is, it doesn't have anything to do with Edgar Allan. Uh, it has to do with a post that a man by the name of Nathan Poe made on a creationist message board. And basically what it means, it refers to Poe's Law. And well, basically what Poe's Law is, is that it is impossible um, to create a parody uh, of any type of extreme view um, that's so obviously out there that it can't be mistaken for real by some readers or viewers that they think that it's it's real and that you're sincere in 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 your views now it started like i said on a creationist board but it's it's since used uh, across the board for somebody that pretends to be of one mindset when they're actually of the opposite mindset and uh, making fun of them. But there's no wink, there's no nod, there's no clear indicator of what their intent is. Uh, it was originally uh, the Pose Law created because, you know, in text, it's hard sometimes to get emotion and intent across. It's sometimes hard uh to uh show humor when humor's meant it's hard to show a wink and a nod and that's why emoticons and all that were come up with but uh, again uh, it has since come to be uh, even to videos and to memes and and to anything that can express an opinion and for any kind of uh platform uh you have the possibility of a Poe. This is something that's popped up a lot in, in latter years. And uh, we do have some examples of it. Uh, one of the most glaring examples of it to me was the person called Shelley that popped up four or five months ago on Suit Yourself's uh, channel. You may remember that. And people kept trying to tell him, he's a, that's a Poe, that's a Poe. And he knew it. He knew it was very possible as a poet and didn't care. And, and I agree with his philosophy is somebody's going to see this and take it for real. And the ideas being expressed here are extremely dangerous. And eventually that turned out that the person, Shelley, realized that he was telling the truth. I mean, it went so far that even they had battles on Twitter. The person, Shelley, staying in character because there was no clear indication that it was a parody there was no wink and a nod no disclaimer of any sort and he realized that people in his comment sections on those videos were taking it serious they thought that's who he was this role he was playing another example and it was a mention of this that got me thinking about it again a lot of you will probably remember the recent kerfuffle if you will, between shoe on head and the satirician. I have trouble with that. I have false teeth, and that's a hard one to say. Where shoe on head had made a parody account of a feminist, which was a Poe. There was no indication that it was not for real. The satirician got a hold of it, done a video on it, and got laughed right out of town by Shu and her cronies and so forth. They took it so seriously. I looked at it. Many of you probably looked at it. I couldn't have told that was Shu on head. I don't subscribe to her. and don't see her. I'm pretty familiar with what she looks like, but she was made up pretty well. The comment was made, well, the, the, it was so extreme. How could you possibly believe it was true? Because feminists and other SJWs I've heard in the past have been just that extreme, that stupid. And as Poe's law states, that there's there, there's no parody uh, of extreme views that's so obviously exaggerated that it cannot be mistaken. You know, somebody's going to believe it. And this was the main point I wanted to make with making this video. Uh, first of all, I don't understand the humor in a Poe. 
I do understand parodies. You know, I do have a sense of humor, which comes across once in a while in my videos. What I don't understand, though, even though I understand parodies, I don't understand a Poe. I don't understand trying to make someone believe that you're being for real. If you're making a parody, give it a wink and a nod. Give some kind of indication other than your extreme views. Because there's some real extreme people out there that are going to take it as for real and be inspired by it. And I'm sure that's not what you want, I hope. So I, I don't get being a Poe. I don't get the humor behind tricking everybody to think that you're one thing when you're another. You know, uh, without some kind of wink and a nod. I don't get that. I don't find it funny. Personally, I find it extremely dangerous because some nutcase out there might get a hold of it and take it for real. You know, they already take things out of context that there was a wink and a nod to. What are they going to do with this when there's no clear indicator that you're making a joke? If you're going to make a joke like that on the Internet, make it clear that it's a joke. Better yet, don't make Poe accounts. They're, they're pointless. They're not funny. Not in my opinion, anyway. Your opinion will probably vary. Maybe you find them funny. I don't find them funny because any humor there might have been in it is overshadowed by the danger that it expresses without its little wink and a nod. So, stop. Don't do it. If you want to make a parody, make a parody. But leave the pose alone. Because... Once you start getting into that territory, then you start getting into the third thing that I mentioned, and that's an idiot. Because if you think that people, everybody, if you're so narcissistic to think that you're going to be recognized by everyone, or that you're, surely you, uh, your humor is so extreme that people won't take it seriously, or whatever your reasoning behind making that Poe account is, if you're that narcissistic, if you're that out of touch, then you're an idiot. Plain and simple. You're just a dummy. And in my opinion, you are just as dumb as the people that you snag and want to point a finger and laugh at. Because that's the only purpose behind a Poe that I can see. Is that you want to see how many people you can catch. And point a finger at them and laugh. Oh, you're stupid. If it's just a joke, you're stupid because you fell for it. <laughs> Junior high stuff. I mean, come on. Seriously. You know it is. It's junior high stuff. And... Probably not in every case, but in the majority of the cases that I've been witness to, because there's been a lot of times that I've went out to make a video. And if you don't make videos, you don't understand. There's a lot of work that goes on behind. If you're serious about what you're doing, there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes that the people that watch your videos never see. A lot of research and finding what you're going to do content on. You don't just wake up and uh, and. and pops up in some magic inbox and yep here's my next video no you got to hunt and there's been a lot of times that i've thought that i've found a good video to do uh, uh, a video of my own on and after re-watching it once twice three times i realize that was a po so it's wasted my time it's wasted all my time when it could have all been avoided by just a little wink or a nod or some kind of disclaimer, something to say, hey, this is a joke. But no, they'd rather waste my time and your time by trying to pretend to be real. And bear in mind, Poe's Law says that you cannot be extreme enough that people won't mistake it for real. 
So you've become an idiot. You're wasting people's time. You're using juvenile junior high school at best humor by trying to play this trick on people. And it, it's just pointless. It's absolutely pointless. And, and I myself, as I've already stated numerous times already through this, I don't find it funny. I like parodies. I've done a parody or two on my channel. I find them funny for the most part. But a parody is different than a Poe. Because with a parody, you've got that little wink and a nod. That little something there that tells you this is just a joke. So, by this point, you're either completely in agreement with me, or you're completely not. And either way is fine. You're welcome to your opinion. I don't suppress opinions here. Uh... You're welcome to have a different opinion. You're welcome to disagree with me. And if you do, hey, let me know. We'll talk about it. You know, as long as you're not being nasty or, you know, just throwing names. I don't involve myself with arguments like that. If you just want to call me names, uh, I'm not going to deal with you. I'll ignore you. But when you've got a different opinion, we'll discuss it down in the comments below or if it takes it we'll make a video or whatever it takes you don't have to agree with me uh, but that is my opinion it's my channel anybody that has a channel isn't that what it's about it's about their opinion and my opinion is is that there is no place on the internet no good place on the internet for a Poe and the thing that upsets me the most the thing that bothers me to my core. Because see, I would not do this. What I do here, I wouldn't do it if it were not important to me. If I wasn't serious about the viewpoints that I put forth. And in fighting third wave feminism and, and SJWs and Black Lives Matter. And all of those things that I've come out against on this channel. If I weren't serious about it, I wouldn't do it. Because I'm not banking a dime, folks. Not a dime. Haven't made a dime. I'm not doing this for my health. It's because it's important to me. And I believe in what I'm talking about and what I'm trying to fight against. So it hurts me to my core when I realize that so many of these Poe accounts come from people that are supposedly on, quote, my side, unquote. It just undermines what we're trying to do here, in my opinion. So, there you have it. We've talked about trolls, we've talked about poses, and we've talked about idiots. If you agree with me, let me, you know, you're welcome to let me know. If you disagree with me, you're welcome to let, let me know also down below. But this is where I'm going to end this. And uh, so until next time. As always, get out of my yard. <laughs>